Hey guys, Bart from TST Industries here. In this video, we're gonna show you the installation of the TST Industries Gen 2 flasher relay on a 2015 and up Yamaha FZ07. This component is used to cure the problem caused by replacing the OEM signal lights with LED type lights that cause the system to flash very rapidly. Our relay is adjustable. You can slip off the cover and use a small screwdriver, turn this dial, and that will give you a slower or a faster flash rate. Besides that, this is a plug and play component. You slip off the OEM unit, plug ours in, and you're ready to go. On this particular bike, it is necessary to remove some uh, major body components. So uh, we will begin the installation by removing the seat and we will move forward to the rest. All right, so we can begin by removing the driver's seat by undoing these fasteners here behind. Peel away at the seat and remove these guys. As always, I loosen them first and then I go by hand. It makes it easier and quicker. All right, the seat comes off. And now we can remove this fastener here. And also this one. As well as this one up top here. Now once we take this screw out, this will pop up and unclip. We can put it to the side. All right, so now we will remove these three fasteners from the top here, only on the left side of the bike. So now we will remove this fastener here. And another screw down by the side of the tank. last fastener here and we will be removing it's a push type fastener from this location here right above the passenger peg you press in the center resets and it comes out and now we will be ready to proceed to the removal of this entire fairing it is actually held on three friction fasteners so we will need to pull away. There are additional clips up here that clip in the top of the fairing. So I will just pry away on these and then I will clear the front friction fastener. And then I will clear the rear friction fastener that is right about here. That gives me some maneuverability here. I'll pry up on this fairing here to clear it from a lock that's in this place. And now it should be free to come out. So these are the friction fasteners I was talking about. All right, so we can put this to the side and find a relay right here. You just pull up, it comes right off and sits on a rubber keeper here. To remove this rubber keeper, we will be reusing this on our relay. And then we will need to remove this relay from the harness. To do that, you press on the tab on the plug and that resets it and you can just withdraw it. Press this down, that resets out of this portion on the harness plug, and you just withdraw it. Now, we can prep our TST Industries relay by slipping it into this rubber keeper. And now we just 
plug it right back into where the OEM relay sat. Make sure you hear a click. All right, and now we can test the system. These relays are configured to 85 cycles per minute, which is the OEM rate. If for some reason you would like to change your flash rate, this is very easy. I will unplug the relay. Open it up, remove the board, install it in the plug, almost put it in backwards. There we go. And on this particular bike, we don't have much room to work with. So we can we'll have to make do with what we've got. I'll plug this board back in and I will expose the side that has the little adjuster. Now, one thing to note before we power the bike up, please make sure not to touch any electrical components or metal components of the bike with any components of the board because you will likely short it out, blow a fuse, maybe blow some components on this board. So let's go on here. Turning it clockwise makes it slower. Turning it counterclockwise makes it faster. I'm just gonna go back to roughly around 85 cycles per minute. This looks like a good rate for me. Power the bike down. Replace the cap on the circuit board. There is a shelf that this circuit board fits in. It's the only way this will go back together. Press the red cap in until it snaps in. Return the relay onto the plug and mount it on a frame component here like the OEM relay was mounted. And now we could proceed with the reinstallation of all the parts in the reverse order of disassembly. All right, now this installation is complete and this bike is ready to go.